All right, so this is the reel in my first video that got submerged underwater for probably like a minute. Um, not really too worried about it. Um, when I got home, I did soak it in fresh water to get any of the salt water out. I also have this in a 4000 and I got salt water in that thing too. And I went to take it apart to see if there any salt water had gotten in there. But there is a coat of grease on the inside. And I believe it's to help keep keep water from getting into into the gears. And all of that looked pretty good. So I pretty much just put it back together and just oiled a couple things. I'm going to go through and show you a couple things that will get affected by the salt water and you will pretty much instantly feel them when you use the reel. So the first thing I notice salt water affecting is this handle right here. So I'm just going to pop this little cover. And I was hoping there was going to be a screw in there that I could unscrew and pull that whole handle apart. But it appears that it is pressed into there. And the end of it is kind of mushroomed out. So almost like they, they mushroomed it out so it wouldn't pop out on you. So what I'm going to do to help me get a little more oil in here. I'm gonna pull this little shim out. Okay, here's that shim. And it appears to be just to take this little bit of slop out of that handle. So I'm going to put one drop in there. That's why I took that shim out so I can pull that back and forth a little bit. Hopefully it'll work a little bit more in there. I would have liked to have pulled it completely out apart and, and coat it with a little bit of grease to keep any salt water from getting in there or any water in general. Alright, that can go back. Next I'm going to take off the drag knob. Check in there, clean up anything I see in there. That looks okay. I'm not gonna take the whole drag assembly apart. I can see some grease in there. I don't really think it's necessary for now. Just clean up any, I'm just gonna clean up anything, any dirt or in there. It's like, plan is to keep everything in order. So I am going to take this group of parts off the main shaft here. You've got an o-ring, a bearing, and a few washers, and the clicker gear. And I am just going to put a drop of oil on that bearing and let it sit. The ball bearing right there could get some friction in there if that gets dried out. I'm gonna let that sit. And 
And this right here is your clicker gear. And that'll ride. That'll ride right on that, causing it to click when you get when drags pulled. I don't think I need to go this far, but I'm just gonna do it so I can show you guys. But I'm gonna pull this screw and nut so I can take off that rotor and make sure there's no like dirt or anything under it that'll uh, make it feel sticky. Just pay attention that there's like there's like almost no slop, no slop in here, and. When you tighten down that nut, it'll start getting rid of slop. It'll start taking the slop out of it, but you don't want to go too far. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that now, and I'll show you when I, I'll show you how it feels when I, uh, when I put it back together. It's just a 12 millimeter wrench. And that wasn't on that wasn't on tight at all. Just just a little snug. Okay. So there is a bunch of dirt under there. I'm gonna clean that out real quick. Now would be a good time, since you have the most of that exposed, to put some grease on that, if there isn't any. There's still plenty on here, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it now. If it ever, if it ever dries out, I'll do it. Now I'm gonna take the handle off. And then take this other cover off. Next, I'm going to take off this side cover. So to get this side cover off, before you can take it off, you have to back this out and this would be the rear cover and I'm gonna pop this cover and if you look in there There's a good amount of grease coating everything, pulling this bearing off. I am going to put a drop of oil on this bearing here. I really want to get to that bearing that's at the bottom of this pinion. Okay, I had to go get a pick, but there's a little re retaining, retaining clip in there. Then I'm gonna pull, so I can pull this drive gear out of here and get to that bearing down in there. There you go. There's another bearing down here. This is gonna wanna come off. And put a drop of oil on that bearing. Okay, so 
don't know if you can see it. Let me get you some more light. There's the pinion shaft. Here's that bearing at the base of it. And I just want to get a drop of oil in there. I probably didn't even need to do it, but I'm going to do it anyways. One drop. Okay, time to go back together. Drop our bearing back in. Now it's time for this little retainer. Okay, got the retainer back in. I'm going to put this bearing back on first. Okay. Okay, putting screws back in the side cover. Next, the rear cover. Okay. So I want to take apart this line roller. I do notice if salt water gets in there, it sticks a little bit. Let's take that apart next. everything on that screw hold it upright there is a looks like a nylon collar in there there's plenty of grease inside that part of the bale where it attaches to the rotor I'm gonna put one drop in there put this all back together Alright, so that's all cleaned out. Time to go back on. Put your nut back on. And see it's got like a little shoulder on that and that, that'll fit down inside that rotor as you screw it on. And then see that screw has to go back. So I'm just going to take this wrench and I'm going to turn it so that screw hole is centered with that nut and then I'm going to put the little retaining screw back I might have just taken a little slop out of it Now I'm putting the clicker gear back on, along with the rock, the washers, the bearing, and the O-ring. 
spool, drag knob, cover. Put this little cover back on. And this thing runs like a sewing machine. Tomorrow morning, I will be taking it out fishing and I will be making a video on testing it out and see how everything works. See you out on the water.